Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill, and welcome back once again to another episode of Mass Effect. Now, last time we kept doing more side stuff, and I've decided I'm not going to put any more side stuff into uh, the game, into the recordings, other than bringing down the sky, which is the DLC. That's actually a pretty good one. There's parts of it that are kind of like, eh, but for the most part, it's it's a good, it's a good C. And if there's I think there might be a few other side quests that actually have cutscenes and dialogue in them. So I might include those as well. But for the most part, about 90% of the remaining side stuff that I have left for this playthrough, I'm not going to record. If you wanted to see it, I apologize, but you're really not missing much. It's basically, they're all just going to be the same quest with a different backstory. But the gameplay is going to be entirely the same. So, anyways, we're here on Novaria. Uh, we heard that Lady Matriarch Benezia has arrived at this facility and has gone to a secret, a super secret facility called something 15, I forget. I'm having a brain fart. But we need to get permission from Administrator Analeas to go to that. Peak 15, that's what it is. How can I help you? We talked to her last time, and, um... I'd like to speak to Analeas. She told us to come talk to One her. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. I don't like this right, dude. Right, fine, come in. He's a pile of, uh, steaming cow dung. You. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. You've read my I file. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. Then you'd know this that I'm not a refugee. Courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling mm. me you have no safety protocols? Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. You're going to let us go Inezia? there, or we're going to have trouble, she sir. She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Uh -huh. You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Oh, Excuse great. me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's mm. attention. I need to see I'd her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Does it Regardless, look like there I there is care. a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Oh, I will. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Oh, you do that. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix yeah, yeah, Corporation, yeah. which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Whatever. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen Shithead. messages while you dithered about. Oh, I'm gonna take you down later. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave Hanjan. You've oh, never really? worked Tell me in the about corporate it. world, Tell have me. you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Don't underestimate me. I can see that. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Loric Keen. Bureaucracy's a load of shit. The hotel bar. 
Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. All right, Lurik Keen. Talk to you later. I'll keep your cover. Well. I'll keep your cover. I won't push it. We'll go to the bar. We'll see this Lurik Keen guy. And hopefully he'll be able to help us get some access to Peak 15. We might be going out to play around in a blizzard. How fun will that be, guys? I'm looking forward to it. We could, we could pull over on the side of the road and make snow angels and have a snowball fight. Right? You guys, me, Garrus, Liara. Just having a good old time. Maybe some snow angels or some shit. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. There's a few little things to do in here, I think. I need a moment of your time. Yeah? The male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. Uh-huh. I need you to speak with him. Have we met. Do you know who I am? Of course she does. Everybody does. Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. Why me? What's this about? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the RML Weapons? Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari Biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Yep, we've heard that. You want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses they will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. I'll do it. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of a I've bad egg sometimes, right? Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his sure. behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. All right. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. So, if he rubs the back of his neck, we press him. We say, hey, you know, let's keep talking about that. It could be good. I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? If the price is right. It might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. That's correct. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate yep. disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Uh, could you, uh, I've never heard of a clarify on that a little bit? Zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. What about distribution? How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to mm. stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. Uh -huh. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely. 
Not everything I do is legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. Keep it real, dude. Keep it real. Any results? It's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Is that it? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself. I mean, guilt did trip. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. It's more like it. Still a little low because I get more credit, a lot more credits than that for uh, freaking scavenging a random ass locker. But Afternoon. you know, sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? Damn, what word travels Turian fast. Like me possibly help you with? What makes you think I'm a Spectre? Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. <laughs> wow, that's a little Lorik harsh. Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. An for odd moment, answer? Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is in Your eyes are a little, uh, fucked up there. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. You mean kickbacks? By rents, you mean bribes for Analeus. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence Smart from my man. office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. Sure. I'm interested. Do you have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the <laughs> Fly in the lotion. <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying well? me for the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. We'll hope. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? I can't make any guarantees, but... But, you know... I mean, I'll try. Of course, the guns uh, in this game tend to just disintegrate people. So maybe you'll have a little bit of human ashes on your carpet, but or non-human ashes. I don't know. All right, let's go. I don't think there's gonna be anything up there. We need to get to that office ASAP. Okay, we're gonna clear out this office. We're gonna get that evidence in, out, done. Okay, guys, let's have a calm discussion. You don't want to be doing this. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. What's going on here? What are you here? doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. You are here illegally. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Th okay, those guys are gone. Look out! These ones aren't, though. Why is it always the shotgun? That's like the worst, the least balanced weapon for any situation. Go, go, go! 
I don't really want to fight you people, but I guess I really don't have a choice either. Let's pistol it here. Whoop. Yeah. It's over now. Rock their socks clear off. Yeah, buddy. Look, we got 2,200 credits just for opening that box. We didn't even have to hack it. Like, seriously. And we actually did legit work for that Asari in the bar. And didn't. it only got 750. Like, are you shitting me right now? Let's open the uh, wall safe. Whoop. 8,800 credits for that. Jesus. And we got... I wouldn't say a s substantial amount of XP, but, you know, a respectable amount, nonetheless. I believe the evidence is in this room. We'll grab that. And we'll finish looking through the rest of the apartment as well. Or the office, I should say. Whoop! I love it when there's a really clear, good opening. There we go. We download the evidence from Lorik's computer. Done deal, baby. Bobby Booby. And there's more guards. Naturally. I mean, they're not going to let me walk in and walk out. Are you serious? No. Oh, and it's the bitch from the dog. You're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, Miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, I show plenty of respect. Elanis Risk Control Services. In the dark, you're the one that was disrespectful. You the world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty, breaking the law for bribe money. They didn't give me a choice. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I. There we go, I'm not even gonna let you finish your sentence. I'm just gonna blast you into the next freaking. Uh. What was just happening with the, the, the chairs there? Did you guys. No? Didn't see that? Okay. <laughs> they kinda went a little haywire. Poorly trained guards. I'm on it! Yep. Bunch of idiots. Missing person report. To the attention of Administrator Analeas, a man named Gareth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our freighters. He believes his brother's ship may have been attacked by privateers while traveling through the Stren Stren Strenus system. Investigation pending. Upgrade kit. Uh, ooh, I love this. Like, I would love to have something like this in my house. That's just so cool to me. Love it. It's a very nice touch. Oh. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Well, uh, seeing as I just came from there and you clearly saw that. It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Not a smart ass, just Meet telling you the truth. For a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Yeah? Smart ass, huh? Just telling the truth. Probably Analeas' thugs. Because that's exactly what it was. The shit stains. And that dirty cop sergeant and all her dirty cop crew. They're not really cops, though. They're more like mercenaries or privatized security or something. I mean, this is all, this whole planet's owned by companies, corporations. So it's more like corporate security than. Alright, what do you got to say then, Gianna P Parasini? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why are you here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Yeah? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> he 
He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Can't do Why this don't yourself? You Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I need his pass. Need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. All right. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Yeah, Look, Shepherd, I, I agree don't with like that. this either. I'm with you, Garrus. Inspectors play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanchan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. What if the crew gets annihilated? Yeah, exactly. And if the crew never sends an all clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. Okay. All right. I'll talk to Kane and see if I can. Enough getting him. off topic. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Well, he'll play ball when I'm done with him. What sort of ball? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention. All right, Kane. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. You'd be a hero. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Yes! All right. So, we'll finish up this little story arc here. And then, we will have to move on. We will have to move on. Pretty sure What's-Her-Face went back to Analeas' office. He's going to be gonzo. Analeas. We'll no longer have an iron grip over this station. Whoa, hello. All right, Analeas. Your days are numbered, bitch. All right. What's the deal? Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? He's in. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. What about the garage? So, Cough up that pass, yo. The garage. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah. yeah get good luck with on. that. She's working you for the suffered. people that you work for. You place this bitch under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Yeah, buddy. Give me those Paragon points. But yeah, on that note, we're going to have to end the episode there. We are all out of time. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm feeling better about this game now that we're actually getting back into the, the story and the, the meat of the game. So I hope you are too. And if that's the case, then make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more content from me. And feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last, but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you in the next one. See you later!